Yeah, you know, um, you know, let's just wrap it up with the final thoughts yeah. from both of you, starting with uh, Bharti. First, you go. Nidhi, you can, and I will add mine later, actually. Okay, yeah. So just to summarize, I think 2023 has been a very impactful year, no doubt, even though uh, the essence of music has been diluted in many ways, there are still some gems that really stand out and remind us why we find music so therapeutic even now. And there are these senior singers, we are blessed to listen to them even now and um, witness the era of their uh, majestic music and uh, benefit from the kind of um, magic that their voice weaves every time we listen to their songs. So very grateful for that. And um, I am really disappointed in the way that external factors come in play and uh, do not recognize the right kind of music, but um, very grateful to PS for giving us this platform to, you know, come forth and speak about what we feel as we are, we are not significant as artists. I mean, nobody knows us, but then to, you know, have value for our opinions and make this entire blog and let us share our thoughts and opinions. Um, thank you so much. And uh, I hope that we continue to discuss, uh, have such discussions and um, uh, talk about music and its uh, essence so that it, re it remains alive and it continues to exist now yeah. and forever. Till yep. we exist. Yeah. Maybe your thoughts. Thank you, okay. Bhakti. Yes. Uh, so 2023 uh, was a really melodious year and we have got so many good music here. And uh, just on the loop, we played it. Continue means uh, just go on and on and on. And it's really good to listen all those new singers like Vishal Mishra and others. So um, really, yeah. it, it was a really magnificent job they have done this year. Yeah. And so we are here to discuss all these musical things. And I just uh, thanks a lot to... Uh, PS that he has given us the chance to emote our expressions and our interest of music here. So thanks a lot. Yeah. You know, what I hear from the discussion that we had today was that, you know, like while Bharti and Nidhi was, you know, we had listened to all these stalwarts of Bollywood, like Lata Mangeshkar, Asha Ji, and, you know, their songs are still being the core of everybody's listening yeah. uh, process but at the same time we are looking at the current generation and see what is going on and do we see a hope actually and then and I, I mean, what we discussed here is that we do see a hope actually especially yeah. in the form of Arijit Singh who's being so enormously talented uh, Shreya yeah. Goshal who's being another extremely yeah. powerful yeah. talent you know, to add to your point uh, if you talk about timelessness, which yeah. is what uh, is a big aspect of old uh, songs, why we say old is gold, right? Yeah. You know, even in the Indian Idol uh, that has come now, all the judges, I think they've decided that old songs are the gold standard to judge right. any singer. So any they make them sing these old songs because they are so difficult and so, uh, so difficult to reproduce now yeah. to imbibe all the expression and the expertise of the yeah. singers of those days. Um, if you talk about timelessness of the more recent singers, I think we still have hopes because Shreya Goshal's songs from the time she entered the industry till now people sing her songs from Devdas and they sing it in competitions. They find it that difficult and relevant to uh, put it out there so that they can be judged for their talent level. And so is Arijit's some of the earlier songs like Dua, um, oh. Uh, Dil Samhal Ja Zara, you know, some of his uh, older songs. So I think some. I think he was, Arijit Singh especially was more better used by Ayaz Rahman than yeah. Pritam, I think. Because, True. you know, the challenges he had in Ayaz Rahman's songs were much more difficult and, you Absolutely. know, hard to reproduce. And you know, as a singer, wise, he himself have expressed in many of his interviews that, you know, he was more challenged by those songs. Than, yeah. True, true. I think Pritam just makes him scream. Yeah, exactly. That's not, 
that's not very good for him isn't it you need to realize it actually in fact uh, later songs that have come you know you can make such a mash up of all these songs because they all sound the same same, the same pace same yeah. melody just yeah. different lyrics and different yeah. way of presenting it yeah. but they are all so similar so i feel um, timelessness uh, timelessness will come and these senior singers do continue to contribute to that and i feel couple of years later when we reach the same timeline as we have today like from the 80s we are how many years i think we are 40 years um, yeah. ahead of the Time, 80s yeah. let's see uh, songs that were recorded between 20 uh, 2000s and 2010s if they are still sung in 2050 <laughs> that will really show how timeless the songs so timeless, will so they now. will be recreating it yeah. Recreation definitely will happen, but what if uh, we have to see if people of the further gener future generations uh, remember and value the songs that were sung even before they were born? Like right. we know the value of Lata Mangeshkar ji, Asha ji, uh, Gita Dutt ji, and uh, Kishor Da, and all Rafi Saab, all these people's uh, songs we value today through the words of our parents and the records that we listen to, and basically how we are as human beings if we are good and we are we really are worth our uh, music then we would recognize yeah, the it's the same just when we are in the good mood so we would like to listen the 80s melodies or 90s melodies we enjoy them most yeah yeah like that so i mean you know as a good way to finish it actually is to then let's be hopeful that yeah the music let's be will hopeful. realize let's see what uh, the new uh, times hold for us. And then A.R. Rahman had come up with uh, AI-based music previously and he had clearly said, you know, the AI would, in, you know, introduce a lot of new trends in the movie business right. and things like that. But Just yet, immortalizing the lost voices. Yeah. So, you know, let's Just use like the new printing for the betterment instead of, you yeah. know, hope and then all the singers who are really talented have to have a platform everywhere to come up and sing and make really good music otherwise it will be like sad to for people like us who really enjoy music eat yeah. and drink and music and things like that absolutely be sad. Absolutely. so and before we go i have to just cannot tell you how i am grateful for having people to know to know both of you guys especially but then you know I, it's not just that actually it's just the you know the kind of um, enrichment you yeah. both you all do each other by even sitting here and discussing and being aware about yeah so thank you thank you both Roland de, Roland de, Mirze Anu, Ek Saiba, Tau Chhut Ke, Roland de, Roland de, Be Dard Vichhoda Maare, Das Das Ke Ne Goda Maare, फरियाद सुनी हाय रब्बा बिछड़ों पे करम फरमारे महबूब के बदले दुनिया के बेमतलब सुख सारे हाय काम दुआला मरहम ये मर्ज बड़ा महगारे पीलन दे हंजुआनो दोनेर तू बहते इनसे कहिए यहाँ से जाए। आखिरी बात प्रणाम कर।
चुके जिन जिन के मुकद्दर में भी सब रहना नहीं लिखा रे वे यार खुदाया उनको मत बेवजह मिलवा रे तुझे इसमें मजा आता हूँ भले कुछ न तेरा जाता हूँ पर खेल नसीबों का ये अपने तू नहीं बस कार लड़ रे आशिकानू इस खेल से अनजान ही बस माई सोल में